welcome to my notes oracle db youtube channel today we are going to discuss about list partition in postgresql what is a list partition list partition is an according to specified discrete values for the partition key column or it is created with predefined values to hold in a partitioned table as a simple definition we could say that the table is partitioned by explicitly listing which key values appear in each partition it will be very effective when we want to use group of discrete data such as regions and departments and some of the products with arbitrary values how does it works so the list partition works by dividing a table into multiple partition based on predefined list of values each partitions represent a subset of the data that matches specific criteria defined by the partitioning key value when you create a list partition in postgresql you specify the partition key column and the values that determine which rows belongs to each partition postgresql internally means maintain a mapping between partition table and its individual partitions when you insert a data into a list partition table postgresql automatically routes the data to appropriate partition based on the partitioning key value it compares the value which specified the partitioning key values for each partition and directs to the row of the partition that matches that value let's take an example we have a partition table like parent table called id and region so in this table we are going to create an list partition based on the region column so i have created a region called multiple child tables like based upon that region if region in equal to london so those data has to go one table and second thing if the region is sydney those data goes to another table and if the region is boston those data has to go another table so which means our data has been represent in that main table or all the our data has been based upon the key value has been segregated and inserted to the related list partition table so how to create that partition table so the table called sales the sales table contains of id product name send sales data so we are going to create a list partition based upon the product name so what i am going to do let's connect our postgresql so here i have that data base my notes oracle dba you can verify whether any tables are there no so so once you created you can just see that type of the particular table so if you are making the dt so it will say that table name is sales and type of the table is partition table and it will display the owner if you are making that backslash d of the particular table it will provide that what kind which means this table is belongs to list partition based on the product name and you can see that number of partitions which means number of the child tables are related to this particular table is zero let's create that individual tab uh, tables for this particular partition so here okay the first child table has been created next thing i am going to create sale of clothing so just to rename this one 
as clothing and we have to change these values jeans shorts kurta the next one is furniture so we could say like create table furniture chair table so if you go back to our partition table by using backslash d sales so you can see that before when we created the main partition table the number of child nodes were zero now after we created that some of that child tables which is based upon the product name like say sale electronic and clothing and furniture so you could see that the number of partition has been 3 if you want to in detail so what we have to do we have to use d plus and sales so you can just see what definition we have given for that child tables the child table name is clothing for the values are jeans shirt and kurta and you can see that sale of electronic is laptop tv and smartphone and sale of furniture chair and table now we can go back to the slide and we are going to insert some of the values so what we are going to do we are going to insert into sales and product name sale date sale underscore date the values are first one is laptop the sale date is we can say twenty twenty three zero zero five zero one next the next value you can see this is a chair that is also first half can see jeans shirts okay so so if you are giving this in case sensitive so that data won't be applicable because we have defined for shirts as a caps if you are going to give that as a camel case it won't accept it so keep it remember this one if i'm going to give as a small case so it will throw an error so we have to provide as a table now we have inserted some of the rows we can just select the count of records sales so totally five records are present so these five records has been inserted on this partition table tables now as we know we we have the parent table and the child tables that each child tables has been displayed as an individual table if i want to go as look here select 
star from this table you can see that as per our that partition definition so the clothing the clothing contains of jeans shirt and kurta so you can see the jeans on shirts the partition value has been showed here so in case if i am going to verify electronics which contains that laptop so as per our partition definition so that sale electronics which contains of laptop tv and smartphone so this data has been inserted on this particular child table now we have to go with that furniture table so see in this furniture table contains of chair and table so whatever even we have inserted those values on that main table which are partition table but based upon that partition key values those values are segregated and inserted on the respective child tables now go back to our slide so in case if you want to detach or attach that particular table how to do that first we can table sales now you can go back to your main table and verify backslash d sales here it will display that number of partition value has been 2 and you can just go back to earlier here it was 3 the partition nodes were 3 right now attaching that particular sales furniture table now it shown as a 2 so if you go back to you list by backslash dt still that furniture table resides in that our database only but those table data would not displayed on here so if you are going to verify select star from sales where product name equals to so it will display as an empty because we have detached this value okay even if you want you can just give that select a star from data so the jeans shirts and laptop only these of the values has been showed as a part of sale table which is our partition parent table okay now we are going to attach that particular detached table so what we are going to do we are going to use that alter so this is the command alter table attach the partition of the child table and values also we have to mention it attach partition yeah so use that sales so our node has been increased by one before it was three right now before it was two right now it is three now if you want to see that in detail you can see that verify the chair so after detaching we could not see this chair value over here but after attaching this particular child table into the parent table we could see this information on our main table and as we know to view the partitions we can use that list command of backslash d or else we can use that backslash d plus what is the difference between backslash d and backslash d plus so the backslash d will provide that table information and what kind of partition and the number of partition has been number of nodes or number of child it will give the count so if you are using the d plus it will provide that particular child table information and values all the information we could see here 